If you follow my channel, you know I review a lot of ultra portables, a lot of thin and light laptops, great for the average consumer, great for a student or a business person on the go. But every now and then, I want to try something a little bit different. And I know a lot of you out there, creative professionals, architects, people in the medical field need something with a little bit more horsepower, but is mobile at the same time. So I came across the Lenovo ThinkPad P72. It's a mobile workstation that packs a punch. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo ThinkPad P72. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Now before we begin in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Lenovo sent this over for my unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid by Lenovo. I'm not being sponsored by Lenovo. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. And the review unit is on loan from Lenovo. Once this review is done, I will be sending it back to Lenovo. Now this powerhouse really packs a punch. That's not an understatement. Let's talk about the specs. You're looking at a 17.3 inch UHD 4K IPS display. It's actually really good. It's also powered by the Intel Xeon E2186M processor. That's a six core processor with V Pro. Now the graphics are no shortage there either. You're looking at the Nvidia Quadro P5200 with 16 gigabytes of video RAM and you can configure it with up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 megahertz ECC memory. Yeah. And there's no shortage of storage options. You get two SSD slots and each can support up to two terabytes and you also get a spinning hard disk drive that can support up to two terabytes in its own right for a total of six terabytes on this laptop. And of course the battery, you're looking at a 99 watt hour battery, that's the limit that would allow you to take on a plane. They're claiming up to 18 hours, we don't get anything near that of course, we'll talk about real world usage later on in this video. And it all comes in a pretty substantial package, you're looking at a starting weight of 7.5 pounds, but considering how much power this packs, that's actually pretty portable, believe it or not. Now you're looking at a starting price of $1,500. That's for the entry level model. If you want to call it that, it still packs a pretty good punch, of course. But if you want the fully decked out version, you're looking at a whopping $7,200 plus. Yeah, this is not cheap. But of course, this is not really geared towards the average consumer. This is geared towards businesses, creative professionals that do video work, that do a lot of graphics work, that need that horsepower. AutoCAD is a big one. And this, of course, will get the job done. This is really a very interesting and very powerful workstation. And I think consumers will like it as well. Believe me, it's really good. But that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. In the box, you get your setup guide along with some safety and warranty information as well. You get your extension cord along with a massive 230 watt power adapter. Yes, you're going to need it to power this beast. Now, the first thing you're going to notice for a portable workstation, this isn't too heavy. Now, seven and a half pounds is certainly not light by laptop standards, but for portable workstation standards, it's actually more portable than you might think. And one of the benefits, of course, is you're going to have no shortage of ports. Got a great selection. Let's go over them now. On the left side, you have a USB-A 3.1. On the right side, you get a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You get two USB-A 3.1, full-size SD card slot, a mini display port out, and an Ethernet jack. And on the back, you get another USB-A 3.1, a full-size HDMI 2.0, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and, of course, your charging port. Now the entry level model, which starts at 1549 US, comes with Windows 10 Home. But if you want to get Windows 10 Pro, it'll cost you another $80. Or you could check out today's sponsor for great savings on Windows 10 professional OEM keys. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Go, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And they all come in at a fantastic price. And I have some even better news. I used to give a 21% discount code for the Windows 10 Professional OEM keys. Forget that. It's now 25% off. Even better. Well, what about Microsoft Office? You need that as well? Well, no problem. I got you covered. 18% off with my special discount code. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to LVLGo.com for these great savings. And remember to use my discount codes and tell them Andrew sent you. 
Now I'm very impressed with the display. My review unit has that 17.3 inch UHD 4K display. That's a resolution of 3840 by 2160. You're looking at a 16 to nine aspect ratio, making this an excellent choice for consuming media. Watching Netflix, YouTube is great. Now productivity, of course, I do prefer the three to two aspect ratio, but because you have a, such a large display with a lot of screen real estate, 17.3 inches to be exact, that's not an issue. You can definitely get a lot of productivity work done, especially on this ThinkPad workstation, this is not a problem. And it covers the color gamut really well. 100% sRGB, 100% Adobe RGB, so those creative professionals can use this for Lightroom, Photoshop, and to do video editing. It's really good for those tasks. And with an average screen brightness of 315 nits, this is good for both indoor and outdoor use, although taking it outdoors is kind of heavy in terms of the weight. But if you do find yourself using it outdoors, you won't have those unnecessary reflections and that's because it has a matte display. You don't get that unnecessary glare you'd get from a glossy display, and that's good. And I have to say the bezels aren't too bad, not too thick, especially considering this is a 17.3 inch workstation. Now, of course, it's not gonna be those micro thin bezels we've been seeing on consumer laptops as of late, but for a workstation, not too bad. And there's also an infrared camera above the display, which is Windows Hello compatible, allowing you to lock in with face recognition. Worked pretty well, registering my face pretty much every time I used it. So this is the front-facing camera on the Lenovo ThinkPad P72 mobile workstation, 720p, 30 frames per second. Not really very good, a little bit grainy in my opinion. Uh, certainly adequate if you want to do Skype, if you need to do some video conferencing, this definitely will get the job done. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. And in addition to the infrared camera, you also get a fingerprint scanner located below the keyboard. Also Windows Hello compatible and it worked really well. Now Lenovo makes it really easy to access the inside of this laptop. Just unscrew the captive Phillips set screws and remove the bottom plate and you're in. Now, as far as upgrading the RAM, as I stated earlier, maximum amount of RAM is 128 gigabytes. You get two slots that are accessible right here. And there are another two if you remove the keyboard, a little bit more tricky to access. So if you want the 128, make sure you get 64 when you're buying this and then add another 64 on the top. Now, as far as the SSD concerned, the one they do supply you with does give you some excellent reads and writes, as you can see from these results. And there's a second SSD slot if you want to add a second SSD, of course. And then there's the hard disk drive, the spinning hard disk drive, which gives you even more storage for a maximum of six terabytes total. And of course, with the Xeon processor, of course, with the GPU, you're expecting excellent results when it comes to the benchmarks, when it comes to performance, and it doesn't disappoint. In fact, take a look at some of these numbers. They show you that this really is a powerhouse without a doubt. Great for productivity work, great for creative work. It can do it all. Now, when it comes to gaming, you can definitely do it on this workstation. It's got the NVIDIA Quadro P5200 Max-Q with 16 gigabytes of gddr 5 v RAM. That means you're going to get some really playable frame rates. Games like Fortnite, Overwatch, Apex, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, all playable, highest settings, 1080p, very good results as you can see from the numbers. And it took 8 minutes and 53 seconds to render a 4K video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Not bad. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a ThinkPad if it didn't have that legendary style ThinkPad keyboard. This is no exception. I actually like typing on this, especially due to its size. You're getting a really nice, comfy, spacious keyboard. That also includes a numeric keypad. So for those number crunchers, you're going to love this. And it has a multi-stage backlight, allowing you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And that, to me, is always great. And as far as the touchpad is concerned, it uses precision drivers, which were really responsive. Two finger scrolling was buttery smooth. I have no complaints on that front. And of course, it has the track point, one of my favorite pointing devices. And of course, if you follow my channel, you would know that because it really is responsive. Excellent way to navigate through the OS. So the nice combination with the precision touchpad and the track point make this a winner. And in a throwback, they do give you some indicator lights letting you know the wireless is on, that the computer is working in the background. That's pretty good. And I love the ability that it gives you, allowing you to put the screen flat, giving you the best viewing angle. I love that feature. Now, it also houses dual 2-watt speakers, and I didn't have high hopes going into this. It's a mobile workstation. This is not a consumer laptop, but the sound wasn't bad. I would say it's pretty average. It does get loud, although it could use a little bit more bass, but I would say in the end, it's just pretty much average, which is what I expected. 
The P72 sports a 99 watt hour battery. That's the limit you can take on an airplane. And as far as the battery life, while well, on my continuous web surfing test, it did four hours and 17 minutes, which considering the high resolution display, considering the power this packs, that's not bad. And keep in mind, if you do need to plug in, it does come with a pretty chunky 230 watt power adapter. So that's another added weight there. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Lenovo ThinkPad P72? And the answer is, if you're in that market, if you're an architect, if you're a medical imaging person, if you're a content creator that does high-end video work, absolutely, this is a mobile powerhouse. This definitely has the graphics horsepower to get those jobs done. Now for the average consumer, I think it's actually too expensive to go with the high-end ZN processor. To get all that, it's overkill. But it does have a starting price of over $1,500, which isn't too bad, especially if you want some extra horsepower. Of course, it's not going to be quite as much horsepower as that high-end Xeon processor, as that high-end Quadro graphics card. But this definitely is something to look at, that's for sure. I'm going to give this a score of 87%, making the ThinkPad P72 worth your money. So what do you think about the Lenovo ThinkPad P72? A mobile workstation powerhouse, no doubt. I like its processing power. Let's get that out of the way. This thing is a beast. It's got everything you'd want in terms of the Xeon processor and of course the graphics card, which is the Quadro graphics card, which gives you a lot of enhanced power in terms of graphics. You wanna do some video editing on this, high-end video editing, this can handle it. If you wanna even do some gaming, as you saw from the benchmarks we ran, it definitely can do it. But it really is geared towards those mobile professionals that need the horsepower, but, are, but need it to take it on the go. They need to take it out of town. You're doing something in a hotel. You need to have that processing power. Now at seven and a half pounds or 3.5 kilograms, you're looking at not such a light device, but again, considering what's inside, how much power it packs, you can definitely forgive it. Now, it is portable in the sense that seven and a half pounds is not the end of the world. You can actually transport it around town. I took it to a coffee shop. Now, it is a rather large laptop because it has a 17.3 inch display in addition to all those graphics and all those processing power that it does have. Now, as far as the display is concerned, you're looking at a 17.3 inch 4K display, matte display, no unnecessary reflections, no glare, it's an anti-glare display, and it actually has some really good colors, covers the color gamut very well, excellent for those mobile professionals that do high-end video editing, that's for sure. If you wanna do Lightroom, Photoshop as well, this is your choice. Now, of course, this is not cheap. Uh, if you go with the one that Lenovo sent me, the high-end version with the Xeon processor and the Quadro graphics, you're looking at $7,200 and above. Now. There is an entry level model, you're looking at about $1,500 or so, and you still get a lot for your money. You're not gonna get the Xeon processor, you're not gonna get the high-end Quadro graphics, but you still get a lot of horsepower nonetheless. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of the ThinkPad P72? It's an interesting choice, an interesting device, to say the least, a great mobile workstation. By the way, you could also run Linux on it. You can run it obviously with Windows 10, but I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but I think it's worth it in the end. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Thank you.